Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and welcome back to another Foundation Friday. If you're new to my channel, I post foundation reviews every Friday and I post curly hair product reviews and tutorials on Sunday. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Now today I'm actually gonna switch it up a little bit. I will admit I've been playing it pretty safe with my Foundation Fridays, meaning I've been reviewing drugstore foundations that I know already have a good rep. I've heard something about them being good for oily skin, so that's why I wanted to try those first to give you guys some options so you could fix that oily skin problem now. But today I'll be reviewing my first high-end foundation via Sephora sample. <laughs> I know, it's not the cutest way to be reviewing foundations, but this one is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. This one is about $35 at Sephora. So I made sure, as you should too, if you're gonna buy any high-end foundation, get a sample first. This is a free little sample you can get at Sephora, and you could try it out before you spend that much money on foundation. But the main reason that this is still in a bag it's because I decided not to buy it. If you guys saw me on Snapchat like a little while ago, when I used this foundation, it made me a hot, oily mess. But it was so highly praised, everybody loved it. It's people's like holy grail go-to foundation. So I wanted to try it. But if I did have the bottle, let's just pretend that I'm actually holding it. It says it would be a full coverage foundation with a matte finish. 24 hour wear. It says it is going to give you a total matte coverage that stays waterproof, fade proof, and transfer resistant all day long. I didn't experience any of those but full coverage. So before I completely ban it, I'm going to try it one more time to see if I did something wrong. I want to love it, but it's just gonna have to prove itself today, okay? So let's figure this out. So I am gonna be trying a different primer than the first time I used it. This is going to be the Stay Matte by Rimmel. And hopefully this helps mattify it because the first time, I don't know. I don't know. I will be using a damp beauty blender to apply this. And now I got my little sample. This is the color 66, which is deep. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Look how thick this is. This is creamy. Nothing's coming out. This actually looks like Nutella. That's what I would compare this to. Now this is known to be full coverage. If you're looking for that sheer look, this is not gonna be it for you. It's definitely thick, but I personally love full coverage. And this is part of the reason why I wanted to love this foundation so bad because the coverage is amazing. But I just don't think it's gonna last, but we'll try it again. I will be optimistic. But now I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. There we go, this is my full completed face. Now this foundation does claim to last for 24 hours. It's supposed to be matte. It is currently 2 p.m., so we will come back in a couple hours and see how well it actually does. Do you guys see what I see? Look at it. <gasps> this is my skin after eight hours of wear. This would be you at the end of your full work shift. I look like I took a nap in a pan of grease. You literally could fry chicken on my face. All right, this is the deal. This is actually how my face was the first time I tried it. And I thought after the first two hours, like, you know what, it's looking pretty good. Maybe I misjudged it. I did end up running an errand today that was like walking distance. That was like a quick trip outside. But for the most part, I've kind of been like in a cool environment in my apartment all day. This is not even like going out and about running errands and I'm this shiny. It's definitely not a 24 hour thing. You could add a dash in there, maybe two to four hours. This is eight hours. You want me to go 16 more hours looking this crazy? All right, now usually, my normal oily skin, I only get oily right here and my forehead, but like my entire cheek and chin is glistening. I look like a Krispy Kreme donut. 
All right, I've seen enough. Let's go ahead and blot. Let's just get to the blotting strips, and of course they're all gone. But luckily, when your skin's as oily as mine is, you have several different packs in every purse. But let me go ahead and blot and see how it does. Ooh, chow. Oh, snaps. This is not okay. I'm gonna need two sheets. I'm going in for the second. I'm going in. All right, so this is all the oil that came off of my skin. I had to use two different blotting sheets and this one's like covered in makeup. And like I always say, these are only supposed to be picking up the oil. The makeup should be staying on your face and only removing the oil. I'm not blaming the sheets. I'm gonna have to blame the foundation for this one, but this is, this is insane. I mean, right now, like it looks really good. Like I'm super mattified now and I have my full coverage face still, but you saw what I looked like. So that is my complete conclusion on this foundation. If you have dry or normal skin and you actually like this foundation, please leave me a comment. I would love to know who this foundation works on. If you also have oily skin and you've tried this foundation, let me know what your thoughts are. I will be trying more high-end foundations very soon. I just don't know which ones I'm actually going to buy. Hope you guys don't mind me doing more samples, especially if I don't like it. I do wanna do more high-end foundation reviews because if you spend about $5 on a foundation from a drugstore and you don't like it, okay, not really a big deal. But if you're spending like $30 to $50 on one bottle of foundation and then you don't like it, I personally would like to know that information. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what foundation you want me to review next. I review new foundations every Friday and I post curly hair product reviews, tutorials, and other fun stuff on Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up so you don't miss any more videos. You also can follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. So hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.